Hello faithful viewers and welcome back to another review. This time we're looking at the War Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. But first and foremost, before we do that, we shall look at the packaging. Now this is pretty cool packaging. And notably, you can see that backdrop right there. Now that is of the moment, which is the big box that the War Doctor debates using in the day of the Doctor to destroy the Time Lords and the Daleks at the conclusion of the Time War. Uh, now, as most of the Sonic Screwdrivers of the era, it comes in like a cylindrical box here. Uh, certainly the 11th Doctors did. I know the, the 8th Doctors that we looked at had like a card back to it, and that's a 50th anniversary thing. I believe this probably came out in, I want to say, 2014. Um, but you can see the other Doctors screwdriver is what it says there. They hadn't quite decided what to call this Doctor in terms of merchandising. His official name is the War Doctor, though. Um, uh, you can see there is artwork of the screwdriver on the side there from the 50th anniversary special, lights and sound effects. You've got the 50th anniversary kind of logo right there on the side. The 60th one is this diamond pattern because it is the diamond anniversary, but the 50th was actually quite a nice TARDIS with a 50 symbol written on the side there. You've got more stock photography right there. If we come to the back, loads of legal jargon, clear bottom, it would be clear top as well and basically that's it for the box. Now whilst retaining some similarities to the classic sonic screwdrivers, the War Doctors foregoes the rounded emitter at the top there and therefore it doesn't look like an otoscope like the Eighth Doctors and all of the classic ones do. It instead has this small LED right here uh, in line with the New Who screwdrivers and it shines a bright red when activated. As you can see right there. Other than that, the rest of the screwdriver is very much the same as your usual classic screwdriver design. Still retaining the long silver tube design, albeit without the bronze ring that goes around the lower hand grip here. Instead, there is a black cutout that runs around about half of the circumference of the lower screwdriver right there, which is cool in its own right. And then it tapers off into this kind of fez looking object, which is very similar to the 11th Doctor. Well, it's, it's a reference to the 11th Doctor anyway, considering that this screwdriver effectively debuted in his era, despite not actually belonging to that Doctor. But it's still nice to have that little cap on the end there. It doesn't come off or anything, it's fixed in place, but it just gives this screwdriver a bit more personality. Now this screwdriver has four sound effects in total, which is commonplace for screwdrivers now, but certainly back in the day it felt like a rarity. So the first one is... Second one... Third one... And fourth one... And unlike the variations of this, you've got two, you know, basic sonic screwdriver sounds in the first two. And then the second two are kind of a bit more rarer, I suppose. You don't hear this kind of thing in the TV show. That's like a sci-fi scanner. And that's even more ludicrously sci-fi. I love that. And of course, you activate them by pulling down the collar, which I wish the Eighth Doctor's one did. But the rest of the classic ones, thankfully, operate this way as well. And I really love how smooth that is to operate. Just like the rest of the screwdrivers, it operates off 1.5 volt batteries. And like the 8th Doctor's one, you can see that there is a battery compartment here in the lower hand grip. So just unscrewing it, you can see that the two batteries are inserted like that. Thankfully, it does come with them pre-installed, so you don't need to go scavenging for them. You can see here that the War Doctor's screwdriver is not that much bigger than the Eighth Doctor's, mostly because they share the same body type. Then you can see here how it sizes up with the other screwdrivers in my collection. So there we go, that's been our look at the War Doctor's sonic screwdriver. Now I really like this thing. I like the simplicity of the design, which brings a good element of practicality about it. I like the fares at the bottom of the screwdriver, cheeky nod to 11. Uh, I like the red light, which helps stand this screwdriver apart from its peers. And I like the variations of sound effects that it has. They are very unique. Uh, overall, I've absolutely no issues with highly recommending this screwdriver to you. It's definitely one of the favourites in my collection. And I just, I think it's better than most of the classic ones, to be honest, because I like this 
end to it better than the rounded end that the other ones have like this this isn't a bad design by any means but this it's just I, I prefer new who screwdrivers anyway with how they operate and this is the perfect blend between new who and classic who so absolutely seek the war doctor screwdriver out very fun um, pull action to it um but it's very addictive just using this thing so anyway thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this video like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video around to help out the channel and until the next time See you all later.